Hey, this is Free Wave Music Archaeologist, Genre Nerd, and Rate Your Music Box Set Organizer. Fifth update, uh, but the second month. Uh, we've only got about four sets out, uh, so I'm just sort of going to go over a little bit more about what I'm working on. Uh, but we'll do quickly just sort of go through, and I'll show you what came out this week. Uh, first off, uh, as always, if you join our Twitter and our Reddit, that is really helpful because that helps get any of our sets out. If you like something uh, and you can retweet it, by all means, that really helps. Um, and it also tells you what's coming out at a given time. Uh, meanwhile, let's just talk about what we have uh, this week. So, um, again, you can pull up updates on the side here, or you can just go to the very first one page here on the What is the Richard Music Box set, and just go to Updates, and from there, and there it is. And here we got February 2019. So we got a new month, new update. So let's go all the way down here. Basically, we had an original one uh, CD set, industrial rock set, decided, hey, you know what, there's a lot more uh, history out there to it, so expanded it to two CDs, still mainly covered it in the 90s. We do cover a little bit of the stuff in the 2000s, uh, but we do uh, bring up the what happened in the 90s and actually we're going ahead and we're pointing you know i know it's been pointed out before killing joke and post-punk have some kind of link to industrial rock and we're sort of saying okay it's not a direct primary genre but industrial rock as sort of a secondary genre sort of comes in there uh and then there's some other bands like the swans and stuff and then a whole bunch of ministry uh nine inch nail side projects and stuff like that uh, coming to fray. Um, and then next we have three sets that are basically all in drum and bass. So we're really chipping away. We're starting to run out of them, which is good because we've been covering them for most of January. Um, we have the Hard Step Selection, which is a very transitional, pretty much a 95 through 96 period. And then also uh, one of the other genres that was in there in the late 90s, uh, which is Jump Up, which sort of takes the sort of two-step uh, rhythm of hard step uh, and makes it even simpler. So you pretty much emphasize every half hit on that. Um, even though on a lot of stuff, the cymbals are going full speed uh, to counter that. So it feels like it has a lot more movement than it does, but it's got a little bit of hip hop feel to it. Um, and then there's kind of two styles of the jump up. Uh, where, you know, the very first part was the 90s, and you had DG Zinc, Shy FX, definitely Mickey Finn and Aphrodite, and of course Urban Takeover as the combo. And then uh, basically the Dope Dragon uh, team, which was Ronnie Size, DJ Die Crust, and DJ Sub, uh, and then DJ Hype, Prisoners of Technology, Easy Rollers. And then we get into sort of the new jump. Uh, jump up style, which was uh, a lot more kind of what bro step, if you were sort of comparing what dubstep and how it turned into bro step, and then jump up became uh, this sort of new jump up, which had twisted individual, pendulum, sub focus, uh, G dub, DJ Hazard, Taxman, Sub Zero, Original Sin, and all these other bands. It became a lot noisier, uh, sort of a mid range thing. Uh, you know, very much like Rust Up did with Dubstep. But in this case, it wasn't necessarily an American thing either. So, um, And then Clown Step sort of is the transition period in that between those two mo movements. Uh, and it's kind of sort of the tales of sort of not only sort of the obnoxious sound that came out, but, you know, it started with uh, sort of this three piece of uh, sort of a swing step kind of thing. Uh, where it was kind of a strange off-put kind of dance, and then it kind of became more the obnoxious uh, thing that eventually became the, the new jump-up sound. And Dillinger, Icomanche, D Mines, again, Twisted Individual, uh, John B did a parody of it and ended up being even bigger a tune from it. Uh, a little more Pendulum, G-Dub, Clips, and TC. And uh, so that's that. So that's, we've really got four sets of five CDs worth of sets out this week. Uh, but some of the things I am working on to uh, put out, I've uh, gotten a lot of groundwork done. You know, this will basically sort of give you a preview of what is up and coming. Hey, why not? 
you know, if you're if you're spending the time to watch this, uh, you know, list, uh, this update list, we might as well get some of the, the updates here. So if you take a look, this is the Rate Your Music Box set thread, which unfortunately is basically me and myself and I. Uh, this basically talks about all the things in the works, a lot of stuff I have in draft that I'm working on. Um, and uh, part of that is uh, I'm finishing up the drum and bass. The stuff that's really we're going to be finishing up uh, this next month are kind of the Dark Step series. So uh, when you're talking sort of the darker version of drum and bass, uh, you're talking with the sort of dark ambient uh, steps in between. You're talking uh, about the harder and heavier and sort of more distorted and doing sort of a lot of horror themed uh, type of music. And then that actually gets into some more subgenres as well. Uh, directly skull step and crossbreed. Skull step is almost a little bit great core uh, in terms of just mad having the, the, the drums and very clangy. Um, crossbreed is a little bit more hardcore based, but it's a little bit more. For, for mixed with drum and bass. And then Technoid uh, is kind of a, a nice little subgenre too, and that's sort of mixing techno and drum and bass. But it's, you know, it's not tech step, this is actually mixing the two and having it really be in between. And then we have uh, minimal drum and bass coming. I will probably have to do half time too, um, but I haven't gotten around to even looking into that subgenre. Uh, but that's kind of its own thing at this point. Uh, I do need to do breakbeat at some point relatively soon, but that community is kind of drying up. So I was looking to get maybe a little bit of help from the communities out there, uh, but it's hard to find anyone uh, who's even around in a lot of the forums that they used to have. So it's really drying up, unfortunately. But uh, I was thinking of a neck, another disc of New School Breaks, uh, Funky Breaks, Ghetto Funk, Tech Funk, uh, and then maybe even a Psy Breaks uh, set that covers sort of the breakbeat speed. And then uh, what I was going to talk to you about is the new set, and then this will probably be a chunk of this, this month and maybe the upcoming month, and that's going to take hardcore and cover a lot more of the subgenres that we haven't got to yet. Uh, and that's, you know, a whole bunch of, of things that, you know, really haven't been highlighted out on Rage Your Music. Uh, you know, stuff like Speedcore, Freeform, um, you know, sort of expanding J-Core, I'm sort of doing that on my own. Um, hard style, getting into Euphoric hard style, Jump style, Doomcore, Frenchcore. So a lot of these things, a lot of good information uh, is on Discogs and elsewhere, and so I'm sort of using uh, some of these other places uh, to sort of take a look at what all the classic tracks are and then bring that history back over so there's some sort of rep representation on the radio music. Um, and then as part of that, where I'm sort of uh, getting a lot of that information uh, is on Discogs. Oh, just, just close that. But if you take a look at my uh, at my profile on Discogs, you can find a whole lot of sort of uh, some lists that I'm working on and then these are big giant overflowing lists uh, that will eventually sort of be uh, shrunk and composed into a regular music box set. This is a good place for me to sort of do drafts and show what's going on. And then I'm also doing some sort of uh, J-Core uh, splits. Oops, I gotta save that. Okay, throw that away. Sorry, downloading music. Don't tell anyone. Um, and that's, uh, that's going to have some stuff like uh, uh, Nerdcore Techno, which actually predates J-Core. Uh, that's a little bit less hardcore and a little bit more techno and drum and bass. Uh, speedcore, Trance, Japanese Makina, Japanese Funkot. And, you know, I might even cover stuff like Gabber and hot, Happy Hardcore and actually break down the different subgenres of hardcore, specifically for the Japanese market, just because I think J-Core is such an awesome thing. And I've covered Japan at length. Might as well cover J-Core in more depth than I have. So anyway, that's what I have going on. As always, I've got a lot on my plate. If you want to help out and cover some other genres, help with playlists or anything, Please do. I can't do it all by myself, and absolutely, I would love some help uh, from other um, uh, Rake Your Music users out there, or even people who are seeing this that are outside of Rake Your Music that would just like to help out, that know about certain genres we haven't covered yet, 
or you know, we just need to help in hand with discovering them uh, and putting the list together. All right, thanks again and uh, enjoy this update.